You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I have a robotic hand. Build your own robotic human hand and amaze your friends with its realistic gripping movements. Robot hand will grab your imagination. Kids Labs, under three, so it's four and over, but we'll see how hard it is to build, because you see all the pieces and parts, well, I gotta figure all that out. So there's all the contents, and not much more I need to do but get in the box. So let's do that now, and then I'll have to somehow see what's going on here and figure it all out. You know, sometimes I look through all the parts, read a little bit of the instructions, and then I come back. So we'll see, let me get it out of the box first. We'll see how it's all organized inside. First, let's see. Okay, so it's from the side here. Robotic hand, all right. Instructions, okay. Inspiring science, a little booklet with all different kinds of kits. I might have done one of these kits. I don't remember, it was the clock or something? The tin can robot, I think I did that one. It's been a while, I haven't checked, but there's the booklet. Then this is a, hmm, information I can't read. And then this is the instructions. And then here's all the pieces. Hmm. Not as bad as I thought. But I still want to do a quick review. Here we go. Here's my robotic king. Okay. All right, so there's these, which are your fingers, okay? Five of those. There's three of those. There's your string. And then these look all to be the same. There's two, four, six of those. So that is our part. So five finger caps, got them. There's actually six. Five finger tubes, got them. And then three rings and then the fishing line. Okay, let's see here. You need to be a, you need to tie a number of knots on the fishing line in the following assembly instructions. Fishing line is elastic and the knots may loosen themselves over time. Use their measurement templates which indicate the knot positions and length of line required. Ooh, all right. So let me give this a quick review and then I will come back and get started. All right, so I'm glad I stopped because I needed a black marker, it said, a pair of scissors to cut the fishing line. I've got the tubes lined up like they show in the diagram. Now all the tubes are exactly the same. And then, oh, I'm missing some of those over there. They show them going in the frame like this. Okay, so that's how the fingers go in. So it says, starting with the little finger. All right, so let's move these out of the way. Let's get our little finger in place. Examine the finger tubes. The end of the narrow ring is the tip and the end with the wider ring is the finger root, which slots into the hand frame. Cut a piece of fishing line 28 centimeters long using the template. All right, fishing line 28 centimeters long. Let me unwrap this here. I guess if you need extra fishing line, you can, if you accidentally cut it wrong. So 28. Template A, I am on. Template A. Doesn't, okay, and then right to the end, 28 right there. Place the fishing line on the template and mark the three knot positions with the marker or ballpoint pen. Okay, so let me get this cut first. 28. Move this out of the way. All right, and then I will go from this end, hold it back down here, and then mark my spots. There's one. There's not two. And there is not three. You can see it. It's hard to see on there, but it's on there. 
All right, Ooh, I got the sniffles today. Place the fishing line on the tip. Okay, mark the three spots. Thread the line through a finger and cap. All right, here's a finger and cap. I'm assuming from part A, so I'm gonna put this through this little cap. Then it says, tie a few knots on the first knot position to stop it slipping back in. So they want knots here. That's hard to do. They don't give you a lot extra. There's one, two. Let's see if I can get three knots on the end of this. I might be able to get four, I don't know. Just gotta take your time. Okay, that's three. All right, and my string fell out. Let's put it through again. Looks like it's in there pretty good. Snug. Now slot the end cap into the end of the finger. Okay. Hold the frame with the plastic loops facing upward. Okay, plastic loops facing upward. Oh, I see. Let's see, I got this right, yes. And there's little holes on each section that this needs to go through. That last one's going to be the hardest one to get through. Okay. Then it looks like I just cap my finger on. There's my finger, so it's going to go pointer finger. Okay, repeat one, two, four steps again for the ring finger, the one next to the little finger. All right, so it looks like then this can go in here. You're gonna feed this through here, looking at the picture. Then through the square part here, there's a little square part. Okay, well I think tweezers would come in handy here. And this gets in here. There, so that's locked in now. Okay, and then eventually it's gonna come through this. So there's gonna be a knot here before the next step. So let me get another finger set. 28 inch, 28 centimeters, not inches. Definitely don't do inches. Here we go. Right there. Tell you what I'm gonna do. Well, I'm gonna do, well, I'll do them one at a time instead of trying to get too far ahead. I'm not sure if the thumb, see the thumb is shorter. Okay. See, that's why I didn't want to go too far ahead. So repeat that step. At some point, I know I'm going to have to stop and take a quick break here. How about after the first two fingers? There, that was perfect. I don't know if you can see the black line there. But it's there. So last time I did three knots. Two. It did say that you have to tie them good because it will slip. Fishing line does slip. I think I 
could squeeze one more out of this one. Okay, push that through again. Yeah, I'll stop after each set of fingers so I can get a little break. Okay, then it's going to go in this way, so I need to do it this way. I'll tell you what, I'll stop after I get the first two fingers tied. How's that? wants to be difficult. Basically because the end is bent just a little. Let me see if I do it this way. Bend this back. There we go. be building a hand. Okay, number two. Tested? Ooh, nice to meet you. All right. So then we go through here. Then through here. Okay, so two fingers are in. Now they want a knot right in the middle here. Hmm. So it looks like they're close. My lines are close, so. Let's see, on this side, okay, now slot the ending, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, repeat one, okay. Tie the fishing lines from the first two fingers together at the second knot position. The tie line should be tight after they are tied. This will allow the fingers to bend properly when the when they're pulled. Okay, so, well, I sure don't make this easy. Let me pull it back a little. Okay, you got both loops set. Okay, not as easy as I thought. We do that again. It's hard to hold everything, and you don't have a lot of room here. And to try to keep it in the camera, that's the hardest part, I think. All right, those two are tied and set, looped. Okay, one's still stuck on my finger. All right, then loop this in. to the second spot. Okay. And then these go into here. Okay. And then tie a few knots on the pull part. Now 
I'm probably going to have to make some adjustments here because it sure is not easy to do. Let me tell you that. It's definitely, definitely not. Did it say four? Zero to three? Uh, I don't think so. Let me turn it this way. Okay, nothing like struggling just to tie a knot. I don't know about you, but I would have left this much longer. It would have been easier if it, everything was longer than trim it. They show this pretty far up here. Okay, so I need to get another knot on that, which I will do when I come back. I'll do this second knot off the camera because it's just a real pain. See, it's already starting to loosen, so you really want to get that second knot in there. So I will do that when I come back, but it looks like we're... I'll get it. I'll be right back. We'll do the next two fingers. Okay, try to get some air conditioning going in here. So I just turned that off because it is hot. Here we go. So now steps one through four. So the rest of the fingers are the same except for the thumb. So I can cut that one. I'm going to cut this one. Then the rest should be for the thumb. We'll see. And I'll put the thumb one over here. This one's shorter. I gotta tell you, it's harder to work with fishing line. It's bent. Okay. I'll put the thumb string over here. Now let me remeasure these and get the. There's just a tiny bit left. So basically, I'm just gonna put my thumb down, space it out like this, and mark. Okay. So what do you think? I don't even, you don't really need to put that on there really until you're done tying, so we'll just do it anyway. Just where you need it, right on the black. Hmm, I missed it. Okay, pretty good. Has anybody done this project? Do you still have your robotic hand? Three and four. What I think I'm going to do. Oh. Okay. I'm going to tie my second one. Have it ready. set. Let's get this one done so they're both tied. Let me mark it. There we 
go. We're going in. I'm quiet because I'm thinking and trying to get this set. There's two. There's three. And number four. Okay, that one went the fastest. So now these are set. I should do this quicker. I guess once you do it, you, you, you know, you do get quicker at things, don't you? This one's got to go through two. it. Okay. Whew. Before it comes apart, test it. And we'll get it set here. Okay, next one. All right, and then I'll take another quick break, try to cool it down a little bit in here and hold on to the film. this one. Okay, so now I need to tie these two. After I get it through this one, Wants to roll under. Here we, oh, it was in and then out. Okay, Whew. got it. I'll tie these together. This is probably the hardest knot, I think, out of all the knots, is to get this one set. Basically, this is hitting your hand. Your hand is hitting your hand.
Yeah, sure don't give you a lot of room. Try it from this angle. Hard to do it on one finger because it's pulling it tight. Let's try that. Ooh, I think I got it. Uh, not as close as it should be, but it will work. Going to finish this real quick here come back do my thumb and then we'll check this out I'll try to do one knot now while I'm with you here and then uh, we'll see like before it's it's not as easy as you think you almost have to put pressure on it pull up your fingers maybe that's the trick hold the fingers because they're kind of under a tension That helped. I'll just have to set this in the right spot. Far up as possible. I think we're good. Okay, good. So I'll tie that one again, come back, and do the thumb. Okay, I am finding this rather frustrating. The tying of the knots with the limited amount of string you get, or fishing line, makes it harder. Okay, so there is the first set of knots. Now this one should be easier, I'm hoping, because you don't have to connect two. And I'm gonna say, it's not perfect. I know I don't have them all tied perfectly, but that's just uh, the way it goes. And as you can see, I had to grab a one of my tweezers, the flat tip tweezers, because I couldn't tie the knot easily without that. It helped. Hopefully this goes quicker and we can test it out. Okay, there's all three. Sometimes I do four. That's good. Now this goes this way. Even here, I almost think I want to just grab my tweezers like this and feed it through. Once I get it set right, there we go. Okay, let's not. I just want to get through this one, and then hopefully. This one. Grab it here. And then use that to guide it through. Yeah, that's not working either. Let's see if I can get it this way. Oh, that worked. Okay. That was the last piece of the puzzle. I still have to tie it through here. And there's a little hole here. There is my thumb. Let's 
doesn't want to go into place. It's getting stuck back here. There. Okay, last one. I almost had to pull it, hold it, then tie it. But I took my tweezers. Pulled it through. It. I had it and I lost it. It's not easy, I tell you. Especially when the tweezers aren't working the way you wanted them to. There we go. Took a little effort there. Okay. I should have been doing this so you can see a little better. One more knot and I'm good to go. should hold for now okay so they show the first three fingers but I'll tell you what these don't fit too well on my fingers but we'll see okay here we go Ooh. Uh -huh. look at that piece see if it'll move my tweezers yes I'm not expecting it to pick anything up but maybe it'll hold something oh yeah there you go I'm going to grab this piece of cardboard. No. Hmm. Okay. Rippy. Do 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 do. I think this one here could have been tied a little bit tighter. So it pulls a little farther to match up, but it looks like when I pull them all to the end, it's pretty close. So it doesn't let you pick anything up really. It will let you move. Just show your thumb here and these here like this. Let's get the box in here. Let's see if it'll grab the box. Nope. Let's see if it'll let me just tap on my counter. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that one, huh? That one took a long time. I think the hardest part was just tying the knots. Clap. Hmm? Twiddle your thumbs. Hey, I'm twiddling my thumbs. Well, I'm going to say an interesting product. And like I said, as you notice, I struggled with tying. I wish they would have just given you an extra and you could have tied it where you needed it and not cut it so short and then cut off what you didn't need. And now I'm tapping on my countertop. That is the robotic hand. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry that took so long, but kind of gives you an idea, you know, what you got to go through to put something like this together. And thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here.
Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.